Hello everyone, welcome to GED exam preparation class. I am your host and instructor, Ruben Herrera. And on this video, we're gonna learn how to subtract with fractions, or how to subtract fraction. All right, my friends, so just like with addition, subtracting fraction is very easy. Uh, subtracting fractions is very easy whenever we have the same denominator. For example, right here, uh, the same denominator, we, choose, we would choose move it over like so, okay? And then I have four minus two is equal to two. And here's my answer right here. Can I reduce this? No, I cannot reduce this. So I can stop right here and this will be my answer. And that's it. That's very nice. But however, what happened whenever we have a, sub, uh, a subtraction of fractions with different denominators, okay? Uh -huh, this is something a little bit different. So let us go ahead and do this. So what we're going to use, we're going to employ just the same method of multiplication, the method of cross multiplication that we use with addition. But now this time we're going to subtract the numbers on the top. So let us go ahead and solve for this, okay? So I'm going to multiply right here, 5 times 2. How much is 5 times 2? This equals to 10. Very nice. And then I have 6 times 4. How much is 6 times 4? It is 24. Very nice. And I circle it right there. It just makes you feel good. And now how much is 5 times 6? 5 times 6 is equals to 30. Okay. Very nice. Now, uh, remember my friends what I'm doing right here. I am subtracting. So I'm going to subtract these two numbers right here. How much is 24 minus 10? That's equals to 14. I'm going to put my 14 right here and my 30 right here. It goes along for the ride. And very nice. This will be my first answer, my first correct answer. However, I need to make sure and I need to see if I can reduce this number anymore. Can I reduce this number? Yes, I can. Uh, I can have this. I can take the 2 and divide the 2 by the 14 or the 14 by the 2. And this is going to be equals to 7. And then by the 30, this is going to be equals to 50. Can I reduce this anymore? No, I cannot. Can I turn this into a mixed number? No, I cannot. Or a mixed fraction. No, I cannot. So this, my friends, this is where we stop. And this is our final answer. Okay? Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. And I will see you guys in the next lesson. Bye-bye.